I'm gonna need some bourbon for this one. I don't know if you heard that. Uh, this music right here? It's the second time that has done that to me today. I open my computer and my Hulu starts playing whatever show I was watching last. I'm not even on the Hulu tab. And just now my computer had been open for a few minutes and it started playing out of the blue. It's really weird. I have fallen prey. Yes, I have to influence. I was never interested in Fendi, except the Fendi spy bag. I am still interested in that. Just still haven't found the right one for the right price. But otherwise, I was never interested in Fendi. But people like Dale of Dale's Addiction, or perhaps only her, got me interested, influenced me. Dale, this is all your fault. In this box is a Fendi baguette. I never cared about the Fendi baguette until recently. There are a lot of videos on these baguette on the YouTubes, but I haven't found one on this one. It's a very special one. So to see what Dale made me buy, and to see what's so special about it, stay tuned. <laughs> Hi YouTube, Autumn Beckman here. Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. My channel is all about luxury living on a budget from high-end luxury handbags and small goods to the everyday luxuries of life. If that sounds interesting to you, please make sure you subscribe, click the bell notification icon to be notified when I post new videos, and be sure to like the videos that you enjoy. And one of the perks of subscribing to my channel is you get to see my community post on your YouTube homepage where I post deals, discount codes, sales, and rare finds related to these beautiful things we love. This is certainly a luxury luxury item and it is a rare find. I don't think I've ever actually seen one of these before, at least not in this color. A friend of mine does have one in another color, a friend of mine here on YouTube. This is a pre-loved item and I'm not sure what all it comes with because I purchased it from my favorite place to buy pre-loved, which is The Real Real. However, like just about every time I talk about The Real Real, I mentioned to you that The Real Real, though that's the place I've purchased the most items from and found some of my best deals, they have horrible listings, absolutely horrible listings. So you never really know what you're going to get, not 100% anyway, so it can be a little scary buying from them, but I have found that even though they list a lot of things as final sale, that if you have a problem with an item and particularly if that problem was not disclosed or pictured in the listing. You just contact customer service and they'll take care of it. They'll take the item back if that's what you need. At least that has been my experience. So they had a dust bag around this box. I did order their gift packaging, which is an extra $5, and they've upgraded to nicer boxes. I like these green boxes. You all know I love green. And it says the real real across there. Oh, it's supposed to be attached right there. They're not magnetic boxes, by the way. And then we open this up and they have some wrapping paper. Let's see, it says unwrap the unexpected. Hmm, this may be unexpected for you guys because it is a special item. And see here is what I was not expecting because it was not mentioned in the listing that this does indeed come in the Fendi box. So I hope it has a dust bag too and all the accoutrements. For some reason, the last many of my Real Real purchases have not had a receipt. This is just a little paperwork thing, shop with us, whatever, but there's no receipt, which is really strange. They've just stopped doing those for some reason. Also, this might be unexpected because is it a little smaller than you were thinking it might be? There's a baguette in here? What? Indeed there is. I will come closer because you deserve to see this up here and not way back there. Fendi baguette unboxing. Here we go. Unlitting. The unlitting. Oh, there. Hold on. There is a dust bag, but it's not in the dust bag. So I'm going to put it in the dust bag to make you wait a little longer. All right. I did suspect that it might come in the box in the dust bag because of something I saw on the item in the listing, but none of this was mentioned. So I'm glad that my suspicions were correct. Okay, let's open it up. The unlidding. There it is. Take out the Fendi item. You already basically know what it is. And which one did I get, guys? Which one did I get? This is not one that is currently sold anymore. It's probably something that sold out very quickly. I'm taking it really slow because of this. It is the Fendi Micro Baguette in black in the crazy sequins. Dale says her full-size baguette in the purple sequins is called 
purple rain, which is really cool. These are all the different size sequins like on her bag. There's beading around the edges. Oh, and of course my YouTube friend who has one of these is Winnie BLV. She has the purple Nano Fendi baguette. Couldn't tell you that up front because it would have ruined the surprise if you knew that it was Winnie B and you watch her channel and you knew which one she had, then you'd know what I got. Have to keep you in suspense. First, let's do the spins. You can see the whole thing. And there is the back. It has this little flap with buttons, leather that you can undo and you can put that over a belt loop or a bag strap. If you're wearing a crossbody, you could have it up on your crossbody strap. There's the other side and the front and the top and the bottom. It has these tags attached, a real, real tag. Remove that and you've purchased the item or agreed to keep it anyway. And this shows you what I paid and what the retail was. So it says I paid $1,045 and retail was 1,150. So I got a bit of a deal on this, especially considering that these sequin ones are pretty much impossible to find. At least the bigger bags go for a whole lot more than retail price. Now this one, I don't know how well you can tell, but there is still a sticker across the front. Let's take a look inside this little nano baguette has a snap closure. The inside flap is all leather. It has this little leather bit, which is where the crossbody chain is. We will try that on in just a minute. And that is removable. It has little clips there and there. And there's a little plastic baggie in here, which Oh, how very fancy. It has extra sequins. And there's another surprise in here. You've probably seen some of these micro baguettes before and they have a little ring on the back instead of this leather flap, which is a clip and it allows you to clip the bag onto other things to use as bag charm. Well, this version doesn't have that clip. It has this one. So you could potentially clip keys on here and keep your keys inside, or you could use this as a bag charm. I'll model it on some bags in a minute. I'm very curious to see how this will look as a bag charm on some of my bags. This is a substantial little clip too. It has a little bit of weight to it. And then inside you have a silky satiny yellow interior, It's beautiful. And then this leather pocket, which is lined on the inside in yellow. And there's not a lot of depth to this little bag here. I won't do a what fits in this video. Maybe we'll do another one that shows that in case you're interested. Let me know in the comments section below. Why did I decide to get this? I had been looking at some nano baguettes for a few months, especially when Yota was in town and we went to Fendi and I got to see some in person. They're really eye catching to me. I think they're cute. Everyone calls them cute. And on one hand, they're really impractical, but on the other hand, they're really not because you could use it as a card holder inside your bag. Or in this case, you can use it as a tiny bag. I've been watching several what fits in these bag videos and people fit quite a few things that I didn't even think to try. Now this one being the sequins and being that there are lots of different kinds of sequins that could get caught on other things. I don't plan to use this as an SLG, small leather good, inside other bags because I feel like I could ruin the sequins that way. But I could use it as a bag, especially if I'm just going to dinner or a quick errand. I can use it as a bag charm to show it off and then have some things inside that I want to access easily. And then I want to try, this is the thing I'm most unsure about, is the flap on the back. I just thought that since you can wear it three different ways, it gives you a lot of versatility. And since it's such a unique piece and a beautiful piece, that it would probably be worth it. I took a little bit of a risk buying it, but I think that risk is going to pay off. On to the mod shots. Let's first try this on with the crossbody strap or the shoulder strap, see how that looks. And then let's do the bag charm look. And then let's see if it fits on any straps and how that looks. Oh, and guess what? I got a stool. It folds flat. I will link it. I got it from Amazon. Very sturdy, all made of leather. What am I saying? All made of metal. It's not a leather stool. And I go from this to this. Can you see the difference? Isn't it amazing? All right, top of my head is cut off a little bit, but you're able to see when I put a bag on. So here I've got it over my shoulder. That would be nice. Now it is a tiny little thing and I'm not the tiniest, but that doesn't matter, right? When you love something. And then here it is, crossbody. That looks very cute, I like it. Yes, I think that will work just fine. I'm going to remove the crossbody strap so I can show you this item in bag charm mode. Something I just noticed about this, I showed you it has that leather piece inside. On top of the leather on the outside is a layer of satin or silk, and then the sequins and the beads are sewn onto that. And this leather feels like lambskin, by the way. It's very soft and 
smooth. Close up autumn here, surprising you. I just looked this over under my big magnifying glass because before I do all the mod shots with the bag charm thing, I'd like to cut these tags off and everything looks great. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. But I noticed one thing I just wanna mention to you is that the lining inside is smaller than the bag itself. So I feel like the capacity is going to be a little smaller than it could be if the lining had been a little bit bigger and really fit the inside of the bag better. But it's a keeper, so I'm cutting the tags off now. Snip, snip. All right, the first bag I wanna show you this charm on is my Bella Croco, I believe this is the 12 inch from Teddy Blake. This is a beautiful leather bag and putting this on a black bag is an easy decision, right? Not that hard to think of. Now, I'm not sure where to put this though, because there's not a place, it won't fit around the handle like I thought it might. There is a little D-ring on the inside where you attach the shoulder strap, so I could just attach it like that, and it is super cute. I think that looks great. And speaking of Teddy Blake bags and Bella Croco bags, I keep getting a lot of comments about this green bag and people wondering what it is, so I'm going to take a moment to show it to you and tell you about it. This is also Teddy Blake. It's also a Bella in the Croco leather, which is crocodile embossed leather, but this is in this beautiful green. And I don't remember the size of it because I want to say it was like in the listing 10 inches, but then when I measured it, I should measure it again. It was really only about eight inches. It's almost eight and a half inches. They may have since corrected that on the listing, I'm not sure. Let me check actually. Okay, they're calling it a nine inch now, but again, it's almost eight and a half, at least mine is. So assuming they're consistent, just be aware of that if you order that. I just went to the website to look up that information and they are having a big Memorial Day sale. It says you can save up to 70% on the bags. Now this is a website that seems like everything's always on sale. But something like this is probably a bigger discount than what you usually get. And I'm also seeing a lot more colors than the last time I checked. For example, this Bella Croco 12 inch in lilac and I get their emails and they recently released a new bag as well. Maybe a couple new bags. Yeah, they definitely have quite a few. These are all the different styles. I know you can't see that well, but it just gives you an idea of how many different styles they have. So they have a lot of bags now, some of which may not have been there the last time you checked their website. So if you're interested, go check them out. Now I have been very, very happy with the quality of my bags and how well they've done as I've used them. I've used the green one a lot more than the black one. I really prefer the size of the smaller one, although they're both great. The black one is great for work, and then this one for me is more fun. And it's still a nice structured bag, and these Bella Crocos, they have two zippers on either side, so there's a storage compartment on each side, and then a big space in the middle. I have the strap in there right now. And then they undo on the sides. They have snaps on the sides that undo. So you've got this big open space. And I just really love the look of them and the layout of them. I think they're beautiful, very well made. All the things you're looking for in a handbag. And I've had no trouble with wear. There's no corner wear, anything. They look brand new. Now I'm not rough with my bags. I'll put a link to the sale below. It's going on through May 30th, Memorial Day. And if you happen to miss the sale, you're watching this video after May 30th of 2022, I have a code you can use for $30 off whatever the price is. It is TB Autumn B30. I'll have that listed below as well. So there you go. All right, let's see how this beautiful little Fendi bag charm thing, baguette, looks on a few other bags. This Bella Croco, instead of having the D-rings on the inside of the sides of the bag, if that makes sense, it has it right inside the handles. That might be a better place to put this little bag charm. That's maybe a little big for this bag, but I guess it just depends on your style. The color blocking is nice. Let's look at another black bag here, the Louis Vuitton Epi Neverfull. And of course, that looks fantastic. Black on black always will, right? Now you do have a bit of a difference in the texture and the sheen here because the sequins are so shiny and then the bag here is a matte black. Yes. And then let's try some high-low with the Longchamp. Call it a raffia tote, but it's not actually raffia. I forget what the material is. And again, on this bag, there's not really a place to put it. So I'm just gonna attach it there. It won't close around the handle. But what I do with the Longchamp bags when I want to put a bag charm on them is I get one of those round key rings, you know, and I attach that on there, finagle it, and then I just leave it on there. And then I can attach my bag charms to that ring and then they hang there very easily. Yeah, it looks beautiful. 
love it and the proportions are really good on that i have one more long shot bag try this on and again i don't have a ring on this one so i'll just hold it up here that's my limited edition black long shot with the stars i thought that would be pretty because they both shimmer very nice. Now I'm gonna give you an insider's tip on this bag. People have asked me about this before because it's a very difficult bag to find. I've had people say, if you ever wanna sell that, let me know, I'll buy it. I don't wanna sell it. However, when Longchamp released this, they released the black, they also released a blue. The blue one, the navy, is currently available at Joma Shop. I will link that below. I did a video on Joma Shop a week ago, so you can watch that if you want more information on them, but I will have that bag linked below. It's only $100. They're having a Memorial Day sale too, so go take advantage of that. And I'll link some coupons I have for them. Those of you who watch my channel regularly may know I've had a bit of a thing with sequins, can you tell, lately? And it all started with this bag, the Longchamp. Oh, this is another Longchamp bag. I said I had one more and I have too, I didn't realize. The Longchamp Le Pliage in the extra small size covered in black sequins. It is gorgeous. This bag, again, I cannot get that clip over it, but it has crossbody strap with clips inside the little short handles. So I'm just going to clip it to that. And the hardware is a different color, but that's okay. I was curious how these would work together since this is such a small bag. And of course, the little Fendi hangs down lower, but that is still super cute. I think that works nice. It's a flex on a flex. And I also have a sequin Chanel bag, but I don't think this would work on there. So I didn't even pull it to show you, but I did want to pull this one as well. This is a Rebecca Minkoff off very similar to a baguette and I was curious how my little Fendi baguette might work on the Minkoff baguette style bag and that I don't like so much. I think that has more to do with the colors, maybe also the size. It looks a little weird hanging off the side of that there. If it had been one of those clips where it sits up here, that might be cuter, but yeah, maybe no on that. Now, since this bag is already out and it has a crossbody strap, let's try that little leather belt loop on the back. And this strap is pretty thin. So it may just slip down. No, I think it's gonna stay in place. Maybe as I move around, walk around with it like this, it would slide down perhaps, but it feels like it's pretty secure there. What do we think? I could wear it up here. I've also seen in mod shots where it's worn down lower to the bag, where bags are designed that way, or Fendi stuff, they'll have several micro bags along a strap like that. I'm gonna look in the mirror. Okay, I looked in the mirror. Oh my God, yes. This looks wonderful, I love it. Some of you are like, oh no, it looks horrible. Never wear that again. Oh, I really love it though. And then with it strapped there, it's, it's secure. So I can just get in here and pull out my little things. This is a fabulous combination, I love it. Oh my gosh, I'm so hip and cool. What a transformation I've made from regular chick to hip and cool chick, all because of the sequin nano Fendi baguette. And I already have my eye on another nano baguette and I have a bigger Fendi baguette on its way to me. And remember to let me know if you would like to see a what fits on this or what fits in this. And that brings us to the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate it. Hope to see you back here next time. And I hope you have a fantastic day. Bye.